Hi, this is Judy Melton, again, your registrar with Bakke Graduate University. We're going to do just a really quick instructional video on how to set up your table of contents if you happen to have started a project and um, didn't use the paper template. The paper template will already have this set up, but sometimes it can get messed up. Sometimes you just don't have it. So, first thing you're going to do is go to your References tab up here on the top. You click on References. I'm going to click on this down arrow under Table of Contents. And what you want to do is what you want to do is create a custom table of contents. Don't use the the formats that they have. They just don't they don't work for us. So click on Custom Table of Contents, and then this is going to be your where you're going to format. So click on Modify, and we're first going to modify our Table of Contents Level One. Again, you hit Modify. You're going to want to have Times New Roman, 12 points, and then you're going to go down here to Format, and we're going to do this first one in APA. So in APA, your first level is going to be zero indention and no special. You're not going to want a first line or hanging indention. You want to have it double spaced. You don't want any extra lines before or after. Then you're going to click on the tabs down here in the lower left. You're going to want to put six inches alignment to the right with a dot leader. So number two there and then click set and say OK and OK. Now we're going to do level two. Again, modify, change to Times New Roman, 12 points. Go down to your format, click on paragraph. Now this time your left indent, you want to go in by three. No special, nothing after, and again for APA it's double spaced. Set your tab at six inches, right aligned, dot leader, set, OK, and OK. And then again you go to your table of contents three. Modify, Times New Roman, 12 points, go to the Format, Paragraph, and this time you're going to invent from the left by 6. And sometimes I'll put, if you have long headings, you might want to increase your right alignment to, um, to be in by 4, 4 tenths of an inch, because if it goes too long, it uh, aligns as instead with your numbers, the page numbering. So it just looks better if you've got long titles. Again, zero points before and after, double space, tabs, again, six inches, right align, dot leader, set, OK, 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 and OK. Now, I haven't created any contents, so this is going to say you don't have any styles. So I'm just going to say OK. I'm going to go down a page and I'm going to add some headings for you. So this will be heading 1, heading 1, heading, let me bring this up so you can see it, heading 2, and heading 3. Now what I do is I put my cursor on that word, I go back to the Home tab, and this is what's called your Styles menu. So here's Heading 1, and in a different video I've shown you how to change the style. So it's called Styles menu, how to use the Styles menu. So I'm not going to change these styles in this document. I'm just going to mark them, Headings 1, 2, and 3, just to show you how they generate in the Table of Contents. So if you go back up to the Contents, again click on um, where it said no table of contents found, then you're going to go back to your references tab, click update table, and there you see your table of contents is uh, in the right order. It's actually pretty easy, so hopefully this was enough of an instruction to help you to set up and to use your table of contents. And every time you add, so let's say you've worked down a little, let's go down to the next page down here, and we're going to have a heading two again, and a heading 3, just so that you can see what it looks like when we regenerate. So marking my heading, go back to Home, mark it Heading 2, 
Mark this one as heading 3. Remember these are not formatted correctly. Look at the Styles menu. Click on your Table of Contents. Go back to References. Update the table. This time it's going to ask you do you want just the page numbers or the entire table. You're always going to want update the entire table if you've added some headings. I'll say OK and there are my other headings. So there you go. Have fun!